the only nigga spitting that wild motherfucking hip hop shit right now. That's why I stand there. Destroy Lonely's new album, Love Lasts Forever, is like easily one of my favorite releases of 2024. And as a long supporter of his music, I mean, I enjoyed Noise Stylist and I also enjoyed It Looks Could Kill. This album feels like it's like a next step in his like career and evolution. I mean, Love Lasts Forever takes us deeper into like the rage rock lifestyle that he speaks about in his music. And it's offering a more refined and more personal sound too from load and what really makes this album stand out is how he's holding this like new sound like on well, this album we hear a signature deep raspy voice which draws inspiration from his mentor cardi um and you know this vocal shift has opened up an entirely new creative lane for him setting him apart from the crowd and it's really showing his artistic growth Sonically, Love Lasts Forever, it's incredibly strong, bro, in my opinion. It's really, really strong. It's packed with like crazy melodies that flow seamlessly from literally track to track. And his production choices are top tier. And it literally creates a perfect blend of like futuristic trap and like rock influenced sounds um, that really capture the vibe that, you know, he's going for. And the album keeps the listener hooked. At least me, in my opinion, it kept me hooked from like start to finish with very few weak moments. Um, I've only found about like maybe four or five potential skips, but even those are subjective. And it's kind of hard to deny that this is one of his most cohesive and well thought out projects so far. And compared to his previous albums, I find myself playing this one straight through way more often. My favorite tracks on this shit have to be Pass Me The Keys, Baby Money, and Honestly. And all these songs really highlight Lone's versatility, whether it's like the catchy hooks or his ability to really flow over these beats uh, with new vocal deliveries. And every time I revisit these tracks, they hit as hard. Just like if I were listening to it for the first time. Like, the replay value on this album is insane. And it's that kind of project that reveals more layers with each listen. And it honestly feels like a timeless record. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting the vibes of a timeless record that I'll listen to years from now. What surprises me most, to be honest, is like the low rating from Pitchfork, which I think completely undersells the album's quality. For me, this project is better than No Stylist and It Looks to Kill. I'm not gonna lie, in my opinion. Not only in production, but also in the emotional energy that it carries. Low clearly put a lot of thought into the sound of the structure, and it honestly shows. The album feels like a journey, not just a collection of tracks. And the music sticks with you. Even when you listen to it, like, you're like, damn, that was a catchy ass song, or that melody was pretty good. On top of that, version 2.5 adds even more to the project with like, five to seven new track and it's almost like an extension to the original offering literally more reasons to listen to this project and my favorite track from the new batch is lsd um the vibe on that one and the beat on that one it's fucking insane um and overall um lof it really feels like loads most ambitious and most polished work yet from the sound from the production all the way to the aesthetic um, and I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes a defining album for him as he continues to really carve out his lane in the music industry. And I want to hear you guys' thoughts. I made a post the other day saying that Lone had album of the year. Um, and somebody said, no the fuck he doesn't. Like, I think so. It's literally the project that I've been listening to the most. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys fuck with the album? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.